Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, we have had tons of requests for Umphreys McGee. Uh, Adam Sullivan shoots me a message on Instagram, at Guitargate, with a bunch of links. And then I guess after, since I didn't do it because I was in Denver and, and I was uh, not home at my computer, the last video I posted, I was following up on the bandmate. He goes, dude, where's the Umphreys McGee? Well, here you go. I'm choosing your last suggestion. This is Puppet String, live at Red Rocks. I've never learned an Umphreys tune before in my life. This is totally fresh. Let's do it. Red Rocks has got to be the coolest venue in America. Look at that. This is a pro band. Holy crap. All right, before I go on, I gotta go back and get some of that. Um, if you guys are just new to this channel, this is not like a straight reaction channel where I just watch the whole thing and say, oh my God, they're great players. Like I actually break some of this down and try to show it to you. Uh, I'm learning as you're learning. So first thing I notice about this groove is it's in 4-4, right? Feels like it's in 4-4, but the progression is changing in a set of three. And then the guitar player is kind of playing over that with the har harmonics in a way that still makes it feel like four. And now it, it seems like it's in B minor. So I'm hearing this change. I'm hearing B, G, E, and then back to B. Sorry. And now you would normally think Okay, that just cycles. So it's B, boom, ba da da boom, G, boom, ba da ba dong, E, boom, ba da ba dong, B, dong, ba da and then reset. B doesn't do that. It's switching in a set of three. So it's almost like a polyrhythm that you're doing um, uh, with your harmony. So it goes B minor, G, E minor. And that's it, it's just a set of three. And then it resets, and then it's B minor. G, D, the relative major, B minor. And then that's your set of three. And those three keep cycling. Check this out. Let's, let's go back a little bit, see if you can hear it. G, D, B. Minor. G. Here comes your D. 
that's real hot. Now, you are here in the bass player. Um, go down to um, uh, like an A to get that fifth over D or an F sharp to get that um, fifth over B minor. So it can be tricky at some times. So you're hearing some inversions. Obviously, this is a five string player. I don't think I've seen him yet, but you're hearing those low notes. But that's killer. Uh, now let's talk about a little bit of what the guitar is doing here to pull it together. So I'm assuming he's in open tuning. So knowing that harmonics are basically at 12, 7, 5, you can get some at 4, you know, and at 9, those are, those are the same. But I'm saying it's somewhere around here, so I'm thinking B, so, so he probably starts on B, something like that. Something like that. I'm not going to go note for note, but just know that um, if, he's, if he's tuned in standard, which it looks like he is, you're going to have B, you're going to have G, you're going to have D, right? Um, so those are all chords that, that and you're going to have E. So the roots are of all of those chords that we're changing over are going to be in open position. So anything in, on the 12th fret is going to be your octave, right? Anything on your seventh fret is going to be your third, right? Your third. Um, and anything on your fourth fret, or sorry, fifth fret, is going to be your double octave. I'm sorry. I misspoke. I'm going too fast. Anything on your twelfth fret is your octave. Anything on your uh, seventh fret is your fifth. So it's the same as uh, the fret you're playing. So if you're an E, and you play the seventh fret, that's, that's the sound of a high B. That is B here. And then if you go up here to the uh, fifth fret, that is a double octave. So G, G. And then if you can get it on the fourth fret, that is a third. That B on the G string. So point being, you have everything in open position to get. So I would spend some time trying to figure those out. Um, but that's your basic harmony. Yeah. And, okay, the tone here. That up pick scrape right against the saddle. That, that, right? Fifth fret, fourth fret. But right against the saddle on the bridge pickup. And then that little, instead of a tremolo bar, he's got that little thing there. Killer. Killer, and I love the single coil strat sound. Looks like a G and L. Can't really tell. Um, to play through that Marshall. Let's let, let's keep going. You hear the one guitar bringing up in the back. You know that that. All right. Killer. So you hear the band bringing it up. The whole band is bringing it up. They are really plugged in uh, dynamically together. Now, that thing, that coming up there, that's an, uh, that is an F sharp and uh, a G. So you're thinking if this song is in the tonality of B minor, so far that that is what's implied. You have a B minor, you have a D, you have an E, and you have a G, right? Or E minor, right? So you're thinking this is this is probably B minor, um, you know we're still it's still you know kind of up for grabs here. But if you're doing that, you know this would be your fifth and your flat sixth. Um, basically, if we're thinking diatonically, these are your kind of choices. If you have a B minor and you have a G, um, this is either your three chord, or if you're in the key of D, so that would be like Phrygian. Or if you're in the key of D, and you have E minor would be your two, D is one, G is four, then you'd be in B minor uh, Aeolian. So one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven. If you're in Phrygian, you got a flat two, which means a C might be coming. So it's it, the jury's still out. Let's see what he does here. I'm hearing regular B minor. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing like it's a six chord. So in that case, this would be five and a flat six pedal over each one. G major, you know, it, it works over all of it. Love the drummer, man. Love 
love, love the drum. By the way, the telltale sign here is going to be when we figure out what key, whether we're going to get a C or C sharp. All right. So far, all this stuff. Um, we're staying away from this land of C or C sharp. That's going to determine whether or not we're, you know, D is our tonal center or G uh, major. Um, let's see what happens. Okay, so there's a B. So you got root, flat, six, fifth. Very cool. Very like, oh my God, what's happening? What's happening? The, the drummer, man. That bass sound is just killer. Yeah, see, there's your four. Actually, looks like a four string. Unless I just can't see a tuning peg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a five. Yeah, yeah. Changed a little bit here. This is Phrygian. This is the jam in Phrygian. Um, okay. Got my attention. Uh, unless, unless they're treating it like two different sections, but that bass, the, what I'm hearing is just B, C. Remember I told you the difference was gonna be whether we have a C or C sharp, and then A, D. So if we go, if we just listen to it, just listen to the root notes. Forget about what the rest of the bass is playing, all the slap stuff. Just listen, see if you can hear the chord function. Yeah, it always seems to disappear so quickly you can't see it. Could somebody tell me, where does the time go? I got a bigger pile of questions that I could ever need. But there's no explaining these. Dude, the rhythm section is ridiculous, man. Octaves. I've never heard a word about the way we're all received. Dude, this band is well, killer. At least that I believe in. And I know traditions tell a different spell it all it out to read. There's no need to confuse me. Cause I know what I know. And if everyone's all Everybody's coming up together. We all they are so plugged in dynamic. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. Something like that. I'm doing some open strings. It's hard to tell if whether he's going and rocking back to that B here or whether he's doing the pull off. But either way, this is, uh, you know, you're kind of, you're, 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 you're thinking B minor, you know, but I, but I hear him starting with that open E. And then that tag is on that D, right? That minor third. Something like that. Again, I'm hearing this for the first time. This is not note for note, but what I love that they bring it up and then they throw it right into a heavy riff like that. Awesome.
Hear that percussion back there with the drums? Right on the bridge. Oh, that's so killer, man. It's so killer, that tone. That dude is a killer right guitar player. It's kind of one-sided. Yeah, it's... Boop, 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 boop. I mean, I'm not going to hunt around all that on camera for you, but I mean, that, that, that... Killer. So good. So good. It's obvious the answer, it's just a question I believe That nobody's asking, what the hell do I know? And if everyone's so unsure of What's really below or above us Then maybe we all buy in it's like slowing down on Up metal groove right there. Come on, man, rip one and be. Come on, man, rip it. I know it's in there. Let's see what you're doing. Come up in the mix, man. Now come up. He's coming in e, e minor like that. All right, I'm on. All right, all right. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's let's do this. up to that G sharp. All right, all right. That is interesting. So I think it kind of like an E major thing. It's like a but it 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 a but like a like a little sequence there. Um kinda it's like an E it's like E major to E minor there it sounds like. I mean he's moving fast. It's like sequencing, but it's like. Uh, uh. It's 
something like that, and then he's moving up here. He's doing like the, almost like a dime bag style, like three note per string. Um, you know. My chops aren't way up enough to pick this up right now. I mean, dude, this is like a mix between like the stuff I used to grow up with, just like straight, like dime bag sh uh, shredding metal uh, with like fish. Like it's like, it's like, uh, this is a real band right here. <laughs> you that? I don't even know. I mean, you gotta be on it. I mean, kill it. And that's how they end it. I mean, That is a serious band. That's a real guitar player. Um, the whole band, the, the, the whole band. But that dude, that dude is a real guitar player. I, I gotta figure out, um, I don't even know the dude's name. Um, someone dropped it in the links, but I don't remember what it is. Uh, but that was killer. Key takeaways here, uh, band-wise, everybody is plugged in dynamically. I mean, they go up when they go up, they go down when they go down. They are tight, tight, tight. Um, about as tight as you can be. Uh, two, all the tones are on point. Bass tone, killer, huge. The drums and the percussion, like, so synced together. The two guitars, you have one single coil and one kind of humbucker sound, one playing chords, one playing all the textures, doing the bridge stuff, perfectly balanced tonally. Um, the, the groove, that 4-4 four, four groove, but then switching chords that are equal length every three, so it's kind of like a triplet harmony over a 4-4 um, a four -four groove, freaking amazing. And then finish it with some dime bag, sh a dime bag shredding and some killer crystal clean vocals. Sold, sold, sold. I will be at the next Umphrey show that comes around, sold. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. And again, we're in this journey together. Drop links in the comments. I wanna go down this path with you. Thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing. And if you like the way I teach, this is a teaching channel, not a reaction like, you know, not like we don't play guitar, we just listen. No, no, we play guitar here. Join me at guitargate.com. All my courses are just 10 bucks. I'd love to have you as a student. If not, dude, doesn't matter. Let's just keep listening to this stuff together. Love it. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Thank you.